Final question from Adam Lark. Um, since I've started the blog, what has the reaction been from journalists that write at newspapers and what have I learned from writing a blog? Well, um, I can't say I've had a specific reaction from journalists at newspapers. Um, over the years, you've had the, you know, the kind of ignorant dismissal of bloggers generally. Um, and you've had other people who are curious about it. Um, I don't think it, particularly that, that journalists have kind of said, oh, what you're doing is terrible or what you're doing is whatever. That, you know, it's not, I, I don't think that's really been that important. Um, it's just been a part of a landscape and as blogging has become more part of the mainstream, um, I suppose journalists being naturally a mainstream creature um, have become more curious. Now, as to what I've learned from the blog, I've learned an incredible amount um, and it's all there on the blog so you've got four and a half years worth of stuff to, to leaf through if you want to know the response. Um, very early on I learned um, to be to kind of pick a, a particular focus and stick to that. You can always do other blogs that are focused on other things you're interested in. And um, I did do other blogs and I've since kind of consolidated back to online journalism. Um, I've learned that um, if you want to have responses to a post, then it's a good idea to leave it up for a few days and not post too much, uh, not to post again basically for a couple of days because it allows people the space to comment on it. I've learned to write in a way that is open rather than closed, so a way that invites people to add things. Um, I've learned what makes a popular post. Um, visual things work really well, particularly internationally. Um, I've had posts that have had 40, 50,000 visits on the blog and quite often those are visual international um, pieces of work, so cartoons, diagrams, things like that. Uh, I've learned that um, you get better and I've seen that with bloggers generally, you know, you quite often you start off just pointing to interesting stuff and the more you read that interesting stuff the better you get and the more expert analysis if you like you can bring to bear when new developments come along and the more context you can provide so I think having a blog is, is fantastic journalistic training because it, it builds your knowledge and your contacts in a particular area and for that reason I think any aspiring journalist any journalism student has no excuse not to have a blog and really if they don't have a blog they are at a disadvantage because if you've already been writing about music or sport or fashion or the economy or politics for three years because you are engaged with it, because you're interested in it, then that just proves how good you are. If you're not doing that, you're just playing at it really. So. What else have I learned? I wrote a post once, a thousand things I've learned about blogging and um, that has a lot of things on it there. Um, I've lot, learned lots of technical stuff about WordPress. I've played with video, I've played with audio, I've done podcasting. Um, and I suppose I've learned that you need to be prepared to fail and you need to be prepared to look stupid and you need to um, get over the fact that you're an ugly bastard and um, everyone's an ugly bastard on YouTube, so um, I'm just happy to be here. Um, I've learned that if people post negative comments, then engage with them and you can end up with the best friends in the world. I've learned that what keeps you blogging is quite often the community that you become a part of. Um, it can open incredible doors it can introduce you to incredible people, it can take you to incredible places. Um, because of my blog, I've been to some fantastic events and met some fantastic people and um, had incredible opportunities. And, and 
it also gives you a certain amount of power which is really interesting and it also inflates your ego incredibly and I think you need to be conscious of both of those things and um, beware to some extent um, and as you do it more and more you realize that as part of a network you can do some really interesting things um, and you can you know be a force for good hopefully so don't just think of a blog as something full of content it is part of a network and what you can do as part of that network is really quite incredible if you start to think about it and that's the final thing